Thanks for being with us tonight. Neighbors in Del Valley want the state, the county, the city, really anybody to take action after their alligator or an alligator attacked a dog. And firefighters said they found three gators in a storm drain right behind multiple homes. And as KVU's Mike Marut explains, the firefighters were surprised, but neighbors were not. Well, Quita, Brian, neighbors I talked to today say they've known about at least one alligator in a nearby retention pond since at least 2006. But today's incident was the first anyone ever heard of the gators getting violent. Pleasant neighborhood sounds filled the air around the Birdall Farms pond, surrounded by homes, neighbors, kids at the playground. This was today. This happened today. But what Crystal Jaime heard on her midday walk, anything but pleasant. I tried calling for the dog and he's just yelping and now we hear like splashing. Jaime called 911. When firefighters arrived minutes later, shocked at what they saw down this drainage area. Upon talking to the owners there that live there, uh, they said that it was an alligator sanctuary. Firefighters saw three sets of eyes they say were all alligators. Jaime has known about the gators since about 2013. But the only sign warning others, this one, hundreds of feet away. There's no phone numbers or nothing. Uh, and there's literally one little one foot by two foot sign. In 2015, our own Chris Betts reported on the gator here. Texas Parks and Wildlife tells me they can't do anything about the alligator here until it starts showing signs of aggression, which so far it hasn't. In 2018, our partners at the Austin American Statesman captured this footage of at least one, maybe two gators in the same area. The families here say they've gotten used to their reptilian neighbors, even avoiding the drainage area where they were spotted Thursday. But they and firefighters say it's no longer safe to let the gators remain free in a quickly developing area. And honestly, I would have never thought right here, this close to town, we would have a sanctuary like this. I'm not in any way blaming an alligator for being an alligator at all. Um, however, I feel like there's a better home for those alligators. Obviously, I don't think this is the right home for them. Now, we reached out to the city of Austin and Travis County today, who said neighbors should contact animal services if anything happens. Neighbors told me today whenever Texas Parks and Wildlife has gone out to try and catch the gators, they have not been able to. They've also argued that this is this area is still the alligator's habitat, but neighbors are starting to wonder if it's a dog now, when might it be a kid? That is the truth. And Mike, mm -hmm. did you see any, any of the gators when you were out there today? I didn't see one, but I definitely had a mini heart attack today because I went by that storm drain where the firefighter saw him shine the light inside. Uh, I did not shine the light inside, but as I was walking by, I heard a hiss and a low, gro a low growl, rumble. I, mm -mm, I. Sounds you won't soon forget, no. I'm sure. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah, well, not let's hope it doesn't happen again. Scary for those neighbors. Mm -hmm. Mike Maru, thanks so much. Well, while we're not sure where the gators in today's incident came from, alligator farms are legal in the state of Texas. Alligator farmers are required to have permits, though, and officials with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department say there are 14 active permits across the state of Texas right now. Alligator farmers have to pay $252 per year for the permits, and they're allowed to keep alligators in captivity to sell the animals or their eggs, hides, and meat.